Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get free basil plants. You can never have too much basil in your garden. It's a delicious aromatic herb and I love to put it in all kinds of different recipes. But it's really easy to propagate just by putting in water. So what you want to do is find a basil plant in your garden that has a little bit of a stem here and oops, I just dropped my pruners. And you also wanna keep your basil pruned up regularly. I like to come out and prune up my basil about once a week. Because see how this plant is kind of tall and lanky? When you prune it, it'll grow nice and bushy, so it doesn't have that long, tall stalk. So what I'm gonna do is just clip off this long stem here, right where the other uh, leaves kind of grow. And basil grows in sets of two leaves, and what will happen here is it'll grow out will encourage brand new growth. So let me go through here and trim a couple of my basil plants up. And the more you trim and prune your basil, the more it will grow. So about once a week, give it a nice little trim. And you'll either have plenty of basil stems to propagate or some nice basil to take into your house and put in your recipes. Now what I'm gonna do is just pop it in a jar of water. And I like to take it inside, keep it on my kitchen windowsill. That way I can kind of keep an eye on it. And I switch out the water every other day or so, so the stems don't rot. And then before you know it, it roots out. And I'll show you a plant that I've already rooted in just a moment. Now, if you want to, you can add a few drops of the Vermistera Vitality to your jar. And what I found is this does have a natural rooting hormone. So it does help it root just a little bit faster and you don't need a whole lot. A couple of drops will do, will do it. And this is like a supercharged worm casting tea. So it really works well to fertilize your plants and also to propagate uh, your herbs and other plants. So we'll just stick it in here and let it sit. And then in just a few days, I'm gonna say maybe three to five days, your basil will develop these amazing roots. And I always love seeing roots on uh, anything, but uh, here I've got three little brand new basil plants. I probably have had these in water for a couple of weeks, and I'm gonna show you how to plant these uh, in a little pot so you can put them out in your garden pretty soon. So once your basil cuttings have developed a nice little root system, you can plant them in a little pot, and then eventually you can get them out in the garden for brand new foot free plants. So it's super, super easy. You can either use these little four inch pots or I like to use the Cali Kim one gallons as well. Now this is great to do, especially late in the summer when your basil plants might be starting to die out in your garden. So you can have brand new plants in the house throughout the winter time. So I'm just gonna poke a hole in the middle of my little pot here. to kind of feed the roots down into that little hole. Kind of push the soil around it. Tamp it down and you're good to go with that one. Now I love the little Cali Kim one gallon smart pots because you can really put them right on your countertop or your windowsill. You have basil at your fingertips no matter what time of the year it is. And who can't, who doesn't like free plants? So same thing here, just poke a hole in the middle, pop the little roots down in there. and you are good to go. Now, after a week or two, your basil plants in your new little pots, the roots will take hold, it'll be kind of established, and you can get them planted outside in your garden. But, since you brought these in the house, you are gonna need to harden them off before you plant them in your garden beds or a container outside. And all that means is you transition them gradually to the outdoors by increasing the amount of sun each day until they're out in the sun for you know a good eight hours or so, and then you can pop them outside in your garden beds or containers. But a good little tip to know when your basil plant's established and ready to go out is when you kind of tug on the stem a little bit and it has a little bit of resistance, that means the roots are getting well established in the pot and it's ready to transition to the outdoors. Now there's lots of other herbs you can propagate for free plants besides basil. So let's go do another one that's even easier and quicker to root. The other herb that's very, very easy to propagate is mint. Now, if you've ever grown mint, you know it grows absolutely crazy. There's always plenty of little cuttings you can take to propagate for free plants, so you can have plenty to grow and plenty to give to friends. So let me show you this mint plant here. Now mint's invasive, so you always wanna grow it in a container. This one's in like a galvanized steel pipe here, and uh, that way it keeps it contained so it doesn't spread to other parts of the garden. And we're gonna find a few cuttings with nice long stems. There's plenty of them in here. I'm just gonna snip it here again, right where the stems or the leaves kind of branch out. A couple with nice long stems. 
and they are going to root out in water so quickly. Here's a nice one here too. Now again, as with basil, the more you prune, the more it grows. And I definitely need to prune this plant back, but that is for another video. We love popping mint in our ice water on a hot summer's day. It's so cool and refreshing. And you can't beat a nice mug of hot mint tea either. Now mint is even easier to propagate or root out than basil. And we're gonna do the same procedure, just stick it in a jar of water. But first, what I forgot to tell you on the basil too is you wanna remove any of the leaves that are on the lower part of the stem that'll be in the water. That way the stems don't rot and, or the leaves don't rot that is, and cloud up the water. We'll add a few drops of our vermister of vitality. Pop in our mint cuttings. And again, placed on the windowsill, mint will usually root out within a couple of days, so it's pretty cool to see it grow. And then, once it roots out, it's going to look something like this. These roots just grow so fast. Don't those look amazing? And we're going to pop them in our little containers, just like we do with the basil, follow the exact same procedures. Super quick. Pop the roots down in there. Or you can do it in a little small pot too. And you have got yourself some free mint plants to grow indoors or to share with friends, which is always fun too. Super easy way to get free plants for your garden or to give some to your friends, which is always really fun. So hit me up in the comments if you're gonna do this. Now, you can also propagate a lot of other herbs. Rosemary, thyme, oregano are fun ones. They take a little bit longer to root, but you can definitely do that too for brand new free plants. Head over to calikimgardenhome.com. Grab my seed collections for 20% off this week with the code late summer. Some good ones to grab this time of the year are the late summer garden seed collection, which actually has basil seeds as well. And with fall coming up, you want to get your fall garden seed started too. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.